Hi, I'm Casey Shambaum and welcome to Art This Week. On this week's episode, we visit the Meadows Museum and speak with curator Jens Hoffman about the exhibition Spanish Gesture, drawings from Maria de Goya in the Hamburger Kunsthalle. Now for Art This Week. I'm here with Jens Hoffman at the Meadows Museum to talk a little bit about the exhibition, The Spanish Gesture. Jens, thank you for being with us here. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> no problem. So first I want to ask you about the significance of having such a large collection of Spanish drawings on an exhibition in the same place. Well, actually it's a, the third biggest um, collection outside of Spain. And we are very happy with it, but it was a single uh, moment in which the old uh, director uh, decided to, to buy the collection he saw in Berlin. So it was a lucky moment for us in Hamburg, but after that, nothing else happened until now. Compared to other major European art countries of the time, there are fewer Spanish drawings in major collections. Is that...? Well, one of the reasons may be that, um, with, for instance, the, the uh, burning of the Alcázar, they lost mm -hmm. a lot of Spanish drawings uh, on, of the court uh, area and another collection uh, which was lost in the Civil War in 1936 in Gijón, the Corianus collection, was, which was a big one, also vanished and so there are fewer Spanish drawings left. Mm -hmm. And well, to have one of the largest collections in Hamburg, we are very proud of. Proud of yeah, it's course. wonderful. So in this gallery, uh, we see drawings attributed to Murillo and the School of Murillo. Um, what is the role that the, the Academy played in shaping these artists and, and what influence did they have on each other? Well, the, the history of academies began, began in, in Italian, uh, in Italy. And in Spain, there were, were several centers of, of art, which was Sevilla and Grenada. Uh, Cordoba and Madrid, uh, but the, uh, the apprenticeship or the, the workshops were very uh, distributed in, 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 in several places. Mm -hmm. And the artists uh, Borillo and Herrera Joven, um, Cornelio Schut and Juan de Valdez Leal, they wanted to create an academy to, to uh, make better possibilities for, for all the pupils. Mm -hmm. And so they, uh, they collected uh, those drawings and this is the, the core, the, 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 the starting point of this collection. Sort of an issue that you guys have had in, in identifying or attributing these drawings to, to one artist or another. Can you speak a little bit about the story behind this drawing? Well, in the beginning this drawing was attributed to the school of Murillo and the collection we thought it is so good drawing that, that it has to be by Murillo itself. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't fit with other drawings, not really. It's a slightly different use of the red chalk and the black chalk. Uh, after the close look, we came to the solution that it has to be by Valdes Leal, what is, in other words, the same school of Murillo, because mm -hmm. that was the way the academy of all those painters and, and draftsmen was, uh, was named. So it, it's not really a change of attribution, but it's a change of the, the really draftsman. And now we are, we are very convinced to have the right solution to, to this, but uh, the attribution to, to of this, the, these drawings will, will um, forever be uh, our daily work. As long as you don't have a signature, uh, as you, long as you don't have a painting uh, which stands in, in relation to, mm -hmm. to the drawing, you cannot be really sure. So now we're here in the gallery where you have uh, many drawings by Goya. Uh, Goya was a court painter, but none of these drawings have a direct connection to any court paintings. Can you speak a little bit about what you think these drawings were for? Well, obviously, uh, these drawings were made by him following his own ideas and his own interests. And for instance, here we see the balloon. And as you know, Goya was always uh, well, if he lived today, he would have used an iPad for, for, for drawing, <laughs> surely, because he was, in all his, his, his uh, graphic ideas, he was one of the first to try the new methods and the new techniques. And obviously, if there's a balloon flying, this is one of the thrilling, most thrilling and, and 
interesting things for Goya as well. And so uh, it's no wonder that he uh, would have drawn it for his own purpose. It changes as well in, in, in his art is if, as long as he has not to treat the uh, royal portraits, is to have a look at the papal. And this is a really wonderful uh, drawing of, of people staying together and watching uh, such a thrilling event. As you can see now, all the, the lines here, which um, vanish in the, the, the background and trying to help the balloon lift up. It's, to, to, to my opinion, brilliant. And here, if you have a close look to this guy with the arms uh, the above, it's, it's a guy, you, you can see another painting by Goya. It's a, it's a way of, of, of representing um, a guy which, which, yeah, for me it's a typical thing in, in Goya drawings and paintings as well. And in this case he seems to communicate as well with the guy above who has done as well uh, some, some, some arm. Yeah, with a similar then, gesture. Yeah, with a similar gesture. <laughs> <laughs> gesture, right. <laughs> so the idea of a crowd and of people as spectators also comes into play in the drawings of the bullfight, uh, which are these really yes. fabulous drawings over there. Do you have uh, anything to tell us about those drawings? Well, you know, they are preparatory drawings to the, uh, to the uh, printed series, and they were drawings in red chalk, uh, which differs now for, uh, uh, to this in black chalk. And the way he uh, tries to represent the, 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 the spectators, uh, spectators over there is, is very, very thrilling as well because it's, it's nearly the end of drawing. What he does over there is just to, yeah, to... To get it down. To, 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 to get it down in, in, in a hole. He doesn't uh, fix any uh, faces, but you see a, a crowd as one face and then one... one uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just a new way of representing uh, many people. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We well, really appreciate uh, it. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. We want to thank Jens for speaking with us. And for more information on the exhibition, go to meadowsmuseumdallas.org. That's it for Art This Week. Thanks for watching. I still got your Polaroid